Gentleman yields back, Mr. Uh, Mr. Liu. Thank you, Chairman Adler. I listened carefully uh, to uh, the stories of the witnesses today, and thank you for your time and for presenting. I heard Ms. Arambide and Dr. Robinson and Ms. Foster, uh, your experiences, and they're all different. And that is a point, isn't it? All women have different experiences. But two of you gave different testimony because Dr. Robinson and Ms. Arambide, you didn't try to impose your experience on anybody else. You don't tell women to get an abortion. You don't tell them not to get an abortion. You leave that emotional, difficult, searing, nuanced, complicated, life-changing decision to the woman, to her family, to her God, and to her doctor. MAGA Republicans want to criminalize abortion. They want to take that decision away from American people. They want to put women in jail for making that decision. They want to put doctors in jail for helping women get an abortion. They want to help, the, 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 anyone who wants to help a woman get a, an abortion in Texas can be sued by their neighbor. This is a radical agenda. And really, the question today is not, well, I don't know, when does life begin? It's who makes that decision? Do you want MAGA politicians making that decision? Or do you want the woman to make that decision in consultation with her faith and her doctor and her family? At conception, 12 hours later, it's still a single cell. Is that a human being? Is that a person? 30 hours later, it splits into two cells. Is that a human being? Is that a person? 45 hours later, it splits into four cells. Now, some women will decide that that is a person and carry the pregnancy to term. Some will not. And that should be the decision of the woman with her faith, with her family, with her doctor, not of MAGA politicians. And that's really the issue here. Whose decision is this? Is it government? Or is it the woman's decision in consultation with her doctor and her faith and her God? And I submit that it is the woman's decision because that's what the American public overwhelmingly believes. Only 28% support overturning Roe v. Wade. And I'd like to now turn to the legal issues in Roe v. Wade, specifically the legal issues of whether the Supreme Court justices in their confirmation hearings misled the American public. If you look at the draft opinion, the draft opinion says Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. So Professor Goodwin, my question to you, are the five conservative Supreme Court justices that purportedly signed onto this draft opinion, did any of them say Roe was egregiously wrong from the start in their confirmation hearing? No, they did not. Yeah. In fact, what did um, Justice Alito say? That's what he said. Roe v. Wade is an important president of the Supreme Court. That's what he said. Do you remember Justice Gorsuch, Professor Goodwin, saying that Roe was usually wrong from the start? No, no, I do not remember that. In fact, he did this not is say that. actually what Justice Gorsuch said in his confirmation hearing under oath. He said, I would tell you that Roe v. Wade, decided in 1973, is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. A good judge will consider it as president of the United States Supreme Court worthy as treatment of precedent like any other. And Professor Goodwin, do you remember Brett Kavanaugh saying Roe was egregiously wrong from the start? No, he did not. In fact, this is what Brett Kavanaugh said under oath to the American people and to the U.S. Senate. He said, it is settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court, entitled to respect under principles of stare decisis. The Supreme Court has recognized the right to abortion since the 1970 Roe v. Wade case. It has reaffirmed it many times. Times. Multiple conservative Supreme Court justices misled the American people in order to get power, to get confirmed. And now you're going to have this radical decision imposed on the American people, taking away that very complicated, emotional, searing, nuanced decision 
from the American people. We will not let that stand. I yield back.